y'all welcome back to my channel i'm super excited about this video because this is kind of like my version celebrating season one of after class now i know 10 episodes might not be a lot compared to the different podcasts that are out there but you guys have to know that this was super random, super spontaneous. It was once an idea when I just I just woke up one day and knew that I needed to start this podcast. Now, while we were in like normal times and while I was teaching every single week, we knew that Aaliyah Janelle and Queens and Leto should have its own podcast because of, because of the things that I talk about, because of how much I talk and how much, you know, conversation really goes into this brand. And we needed a podcast to kind of just let it all out so Queens and Lettles can be a place to actually like dance a little bit more. Um, but you know, I didn't choose to start earlier for so many reasons because I felt like I didn't have the resources. I felt like I didn't know where to start. I felt like I didn't have the proper location. I didn't know if I wanted it to be me and the Queens or whoever. So there's just so many variables that kind of went into me not starting this earlier. But ever since COVID hit, I mean, I know it's been crazy times, but COVID has probably been like the biggest blessing thus far because it was able to push me to these different lanes because I now had no choice but to do something new because I couldn't teach regularly. I couldn't do the things that I normally, I couldn't travel, you know what I'm saying? And this podcast gave me this outlet to express how I normally would every single week through dance. So this episode is me kind of just going through each episode and letting you know how I feel about them and kind of, and just this is just me reminiscing while you guys are watching. Okay, so before I get into the first episode, why did I name it after class? So I named it after class because after class, literally after every single class, me and the girls or me and my students, we talk for like two to three hours after class is done. Um, what do we talk about? We talk about what happened in class, how we felt, who did we see. Um, sometimes we be like, who came in the class? Sometimes we came in, sometimes we say, who came in the class? Like, it's just so many things that we talk about. It's like me and the girl, specifically me and the queens, it's our time to kind of catch up with each other. We all have our own different lives. You know what I'm saying? We're all doing different things. And class, thankfully, is that place where we can kind of just come together. There's no question about it. It never interferes with our schedule because we'll never miss an opportunity to dance. So that's when we're all together. And then after class, is the time for us to kind of just kiki. So that's why I wanted to name this podcast After Class because it's literally just conversation between me and the girls. It's not, I did not want it to be like a talk show or like interviewing people. I mean, maybe hopefully we'll have like that, that time where we'll interview someone cool. Maybe we can get some celebrities in there. Or maybe I'll listen to you guys a little bit more about, you know, like who you guys want to bring on. But even still, I don't even think I want it to have that that feeling of interview, the interview of, I mean, I'm sorry, the feeling of talk show. I literally just want it to be about conversation that flows, natural conversation that flows that day. So that's why it is called After Class. I decided to name it Our Class Perspective and why Aaliyah is not choreographing to walk. Say what's up, ayy. We got Jazz up in the building. Say what's up, ayy. Yes, okay. And we got Sis up in the building. Say what's up, ayy. We got Dada in the building. Say what's up, ayy. We got Didi up in the building. Say whatever. That is, um, that is how I want us to introduce the podcast. Um, not only does it like let our viewers know who is all here, you know, if they're listen if they're listening and they can't like really see or whatever. It lets them know who is in the building, who they're about to listen to, and it kind of just like sets the mood, you know what I'm saying? Like we are we want to be super loose in the environment. We want to have fun. We want to feel like we got we don't we don't need no filters. We don't want to be so serious. So that's why we came up with that song and I'm so happy Ari and Jazz decided to catch on, bitch. And welcome to our podcast after class, bitch. Yo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the first episode, so we really don't know what's going on here. Okay. 
All we know is that we know we just know how to talk. talk. We have Jazz explaining how some, maybe a, a student who doesn't really come to class will ask her to film, you know what I'm saying? We'll ask any one of us or any one of the queens to film and class isn't over yet. Like we still have so much to learn. And I think that's what a lot of people kind of get mixed up is that they only come to class just to get a video. They only come to class just to get the content, to show the world where they're at and what they did and how they did it and blah, 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 blah. And sometimes we forget that what it used to be was just going to class and just to learn these steps and then that's it and then go home and go eat and then go to sleep. But now class has become this like the stage, which I love and I totally understand and I totally am behind, but there's a time. There's a time when to record and there's a time when to just train and just to be, and just to be present. Episode two was a good one because we talked about up, this. Girl? Now, see, this is the first time she sit in a her right. sit, her <laughs> sit <laughs> like this, and just hello. like this. I'm Real so, cute. I'm I so did. done for this moment. Her Mind me like. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I mean, I know how to I know how to roast myself, but I love my titty. My titties are nice, natural. My man has no problem with my titties. Okay. Mine are cute, but I wish they were perkier like Ari's. All right, y'all, let's move on to episode three. All right, y'all, so let's start this episode three of After Class, bitch. We got me up in the building. Say what's up, A. This location that we're at is the dance studio again. It's a different dance studio than episode one, but we're actually in the studio instead of the lobby, right? And um, obviously the sound is not ideal. And at this point, the only mics that we all had, that we could all use like individually were these little mics that usually you have for like a tutorial or like while you're moving, you have like a little mic in here, you know, or like some actors use it or whatever the situation is. Basically, not the correct mic for an actual podcast where it's about the audio. We got honey up in the building. Say what's up. Hey. We got honey up in the building. Say what's up. up. Hey. It's the love romance for me. Huh? First time I bring Tally into a podcast episode, he was actually filming. And then this was like one of the times where I almost kind of didn't know where to go with the conversation. So I had him come in because I wanted to bring a guy perspective. And bitch, my mic wasn't working. So you can see in the video that I'm like trying to have the, I'm trying to make sure that you hear Tally, you know what I'm saying? And our mic is off the whole freaking time. Ugh. God, so you can't hear anything. So anybody who has either watched this episode or worse, anybody who has listened to this episode over Spotify or iTunes, I am so sorry because this is probably the worst job that we've ever done. All right, so episode four turned after class from ghetto production to like, is it kind of ghetto? No, it's no, not it's kinda, ghetto as all. We as professional. All, all. It's just elite. <laughs> <laughs> We're elite productions now up in the, the build up. to say what's up. Yeah, this was a really good episode for me because this was a time for Jazz and I to really, you know, connect and bond over our relationships with our dad. I think for any queen out there, a relationship with some, a, a relationship with a masculine, you know, energy, a masculine, almost like a dad figure, a piece of art, I, whatever. Everything. Yeah, everything I think the better life will be, honestly. I don't know. Can I get an amen? Ooh. Ooh! Can I get an amen, bitch? See this? Is amen. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just saying. <laughs> This is why I need sis here. Sis would have said amen, bitch. Amen! Isaac, say amen. Oh, please. For the Lord. 
Amen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So um, it worked out perfectly because the studio that we're at, it we needed a sound engineer to work all of this. Like if you walk into a podcast studio, you can't just get up and, you know, get the microphone and start talking. Like there's certain things that you have to set up, which was really nice to have him. And um, he was able to the masculine energy in this episode to kind of give us a, a masculine approach and, and what we were talking about at time. Unfortunately, the next setup or the next studio that we went to after episode four starting episode five we didn't need isaac anymore so unfortunately he 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 didn't come back but if you guys want you guys are just gonna have to put it in the um in the description or i'm sorry in the description in the uh youtube comment we are in a different location as you guys can see if you guys are watching this um, and I think I like this better because it's like a balance of the red couch that we were in and then the studio. What you laughing at? I'm She's laughing not... because these mics are so high tech. I could hear Ariel slurping on that ice. <laughs> she <laughs> said... I literally drank and I was like, oh. So episode five was really special because, well, we're in a new location and it couldn't have been more perfect. I looked up podcast studios on Google and literally looked them up one by one, each one or each one that came up. I looked it up to see what they had, what they offered, how much they, how much they, um, you know, went for. And I chose the one that kind of looked the best. And this one is so great because the lighting is already set up. The microphone is already set up. The camera is already set up. You know, I had to have full out TV come and film every single episode. And now it's just so easy where we can just go in, do the damn thing and then get out. And then by the time we get home, all of our footage and the audio is like, is there just waiting in our email. Episode six, we are back in the old, um, in the old studio. We got honey up in the building, say what's up. I, I, we got Isaac up in the building, say what's up. Fire me, you he's the, newest, he's the newest character to after class because, you know, he's running our audio, making sure that we don't got no hiccups. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Y'all don't get to see what Isaac looked like, though. That's going to be a reveal in the finale. Yeah. I wanted to try filming multiple episodes just in case, like, none of us were available to film one week. And, you know, I, and if I happen to forget, like, how I did, a, you know, a week ago or whatever, like, we had an episode to drop. So this one was a really cool episode because we had Jazz, Isaac, and um, Tally there able to, and they were able to explain to us what it was like being Greek. And, you know, if you guys don't know what that means, being a part of sorority, fraternity in college. So that was a really cool episode. Now, the only thing about this episode is that you were not able to see Jazz at all. Shout out to you, Jazz, and I'm sorry. Like I said, at this point, we didn't have our system. So we didn't have the camera set up properly. There's so many things that, can, that you can kind of just forget because you're worried about so many other different things. Like one thing could literally make or break this video. And I think what broke this episode is that you couldn't see Jazz and you have to see jazz you have to see the life of the party so that was the only thing about this episode y'all another episode of after class the queen's podcast only it's the queen and the king starring the king yeah. <laughs> we do not have the queens up in the building so, so don't, don't say, say what's, what's up. up so the seventh episode is pretty special because me and my honey are the only ones in the studio this time because both sis and jazz were unavailable and like i said the show must go on you must keep your consistency no matter what so i thought that this was a perfect perfect time for me and my honey Tally to kind of just have natural natural conversation just us two like this is literally a conversation this is literally like witnessing us at dinner or lunch or you know just a sit down just having normal conversation and that's the thing about you know him and I is that we can literally talk about anything anything and everything random and relevant like I think that's why we work so well that we because we don't dismiss anything you you know what I'm saying? And we're just able to go. Um, but yeah, take in episode seven, you guys. Watch me and my honey. I love him so much. So shout out to you, honey. We got a special treat for everybody because we got joy and life up in the building. Say what's up. Hey. I was trying to catch the beat. Oh, that's okay. I was like.
That's okay. Episode eight was so cute. Unfortunately, we didn't have sis this time, but we did have Queen Sammy and Joy up in the building say what's up, a And this was a really, really fun episode, man. I, it I'm says when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. What? Oh. Okay, well, that's I like different. that one better. Yeah, let's, I like that one. Do. Yeah, you have to look it up like, because curse, that's, like, that's basically, I mean, that's what I've been told growing up so i've just been like Oof. the festival i'm gonna say this wrong of nope all right we kind of get heavy for a second and that's something that i never 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 want to like i never want to avoid that i always welcome that time to get heavy because we can get real as much as we have fun and as much as we cuss and bitch this and bitch that we can have good conversations we can have really heavy conversations that need to be had you know what i'm saying to kind of just bring awareness to the audience that we have and um we uh, it, us queens, we're a full of depth and substance. We're not just full of air. We have stories, we have uh, experiences, we have lessons, we have all of that in us. And after class is the place to talk about that. So um, I'm grateful for it. And then we got Tay up in the <laughs> building say, say what's, what's up, up ayy. <laughs> so, so only fans, um, episode nine was a fun one because we had my sis back up in the building say what's up, ayy. But then we also had my future sissy-in-law. I mean, she's my sister-in-law. She's my sister fucking regardless. Minka, amazing it. This is uh, Tally's baby sister that is my sister sister basically and um we've gotten really really close um last year so it's been a good kind of like a year two years how long has it been mink shit that's not saying like oh yeah beyonce hand chose you like oh i still, want this but, still. but it's still the idea i mean somebody, somebody on her team, team. Thinking somebody about on she her said team. I'm, I'm thinking that yeah, right. yeah I'm th no i'm thinking that beyonce right. said that. Beyonce Janelle. Said, Aaliyah Janelle, bitch. <laughs> the box. queen yeah <laughs> yeah we you guys have to watch episode nine to really to to it's funny how we met it's funny how we were introduced y'all just have to watch it it was anxiety bitch confusion, turmoil. I was, whew. Okay, we got yeah. her man Omar up in the building. Say what's up, What's hey. the dilly, what's the dilly? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, yeah, I think loves. we might need a workout real quick, real quick. We gotta show them that we can do some workouts. <laughs> Omar is, yeah. if y'all don't know, well, you guys are gonna introduce yourself. And of course, we got my honey up in the building. Say hey, what's up, a. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So this is um. Wow. We're finally here. You we're guys here. are finally here. <laughs> yes. This was a really, really good episode. This was my finale episode, episode ten. We're finally there. So I decided to call up my girl Candice. We have been friends for a long time. We've done work together. We've danced together. We've done. We've been through a lot. Of, we've traveled the world together, and she and her man Omar are probably like, probably one of my favorite power couples that's on Instagram right now. They have their own YouTube channel, their own businesses. And I thought that it would be really cool for all of us, including my honey. I remember those pins, okay? They were clear, they were see-through. You could scroll gel off the pin. top. Mm -hmm. Now they weren't gel pins, but it, it was like, um, you scroll off the top and when you pull out the top, the ink was connected to it. Yeah. And it was clear. You yeah, put it yeah, in, yeah, it had yeah, a little yeah. rubber hand thing for yes, you. For yes. you. Man, I would print Already out know. the Already answers know. or whatever I you needed roll it. or bullet points for my essay, type it, it up at point four point on, Shut up. on it's magnified. the computer. It's magnified. Hate you. Wow. Yeah, I mean we we talked about not it's not that it's heavy, but it's like we drop some we drop some gems in there. We talk about how our school system, at least here in LA, is kinda rigged, bitch. Like when was the last I don't can't I can't even remember like what I learned in school that is helping me so much today. I feel like school curriculums need to change and there are more important things that kids should be aware of and should take up and should study every single day have going on right now for them to have a successful life as successful as they can, you know? Um, so that's what we talk about a little bit and some of our opinions on that. And hey, this is just us trying to start conversations. 
We want you. The point of after class as well is to not also is, is to not only listen to us talk, but we want to know what you guys got to say. We want to know. We want to start conversations with you and your friends and your family. So what do y'all what do y'all think of that? But that is a wrap on this recap y'all 10 episodes man it, it's a lot it's a lot now going through it right now it's like it's pretty hefty and i'm so excited for season two i i i want to know what you guys think i want to know what are things that we can improve on and what are things that we should keep that are and that are absolutely perfect all right i want you guys to be a part of this as much as we are a part of it and we are just so grateful to have an audience. We are so grateful to have after class listeners. I mean, the it's after class has become my new Queens and Lettos. I haven't been able to I haven't been able to pet Queens and Lettos and, and give that and give Queens and Lettos attention because I haven't been able to, you know, do my classes. So I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys haven't seen after class the queen's podcast make sure you guys go on my youtube channel Aliyah janelle and it's in one of my playlists it's called after class catch up on the episodes we'll be starting season two very very soon and i hope to uh i hope to expand this podcast because i love it so much and i'm not planning on stopping anytime soon so catch up on the episodes this quarantine you guys continue to stay safe and i'll see you guys next time right here at my youtube Wow.